Today we will be unboxing one of the most popular microphones on the planet, the SM57. Virtually everybody that has heard a recording since 1965 has heard the sound of this mic on snare drum, guitar cabinets, to even Nixon saying, I'm not a crook on the presidential podium. That's right, it's the official microphone of the White House. So what makes this relatively inexpensive microphone so prolific? Let's dive a little bit deeper into the history and specifications of the SM57. The manual mic clip. Bubble wrap to keep it safe. Not that it needs bubble wrap. And here it is. The SM57 uses an excellent sounding capsule, the Unidyne 3, developed by Ben Bauer around 1939. This microphone can get right up next to a sound source, which eliminates the problem of feedback and gives us that close mic sound that we all love on our records. The capsule was also used in some other Shure microphones, including the 545. But what set the SM57 apart is its strong casing. Shure needed a casing that could withstand the rigors of television studios. They went to extreme measures to make sure this mic was as durable as humanly possible. While testing the durability of this microphone, they would drop them, they would immerse them in water, and they would even cook them at high temperatures. Once they were happy, they gave the body a non-reflective coating for TV cameras and removed the on and off switch so that talent couldn't accidentally turn them off. Once word got out of the TV studios, recording studios took a liking to the SM57. So what makes this mic so prolific? It sounds good on everything, literally everything. Acoustic guitar, guitar amps, bass amps, drums. The first frequency to distort in the microphone is around 100 hertz, and that happens around 150 dB. That's louder than a jet engine. And the range and volume it can take increases as you get into the higher frequencies. So in short, nothing is too loud for the SM57. The polar pattern on the SM57 is a tight cardioid, which makes for excellent off-axis rejection, making it ideal for all kinds of common situations where you wanna capture what's in front of the microphone and not what's behind the microphone. My first choice for mixing a snare drum in the studio is an SM57. If you position it just right, it captures a perfect snare drum sound while rejecting the hi-hat sound that's right next to it. Plus, it's super inexpensive. The SM57 is the most useful mic in my microphone locker. Even if it's not my go-to mic, if I only have an SM57, I know it's gonna sound good and I know it's gonna be reliable. Day after day, night after night. Thank you for joining us and come back, watch some more unboxing with Modern Music Studio.